The children's toy, the CSI fingerprint kit, included various types of powders to check fingerprints with. Unfortunately, one of the powders was from talc. Unfortunately, the tops they chose also had a cross-contamination with about 5% crystal asbestos. It was eventually recalled. Uh, if you're a cigarette smoker, in the late 50s, early 60s, there was a testing marketing of cigarettes, filter cigarettes made with crystallite asbestos or blue asbestos. It was probably test marketed for about a little short of two years and nationally marketed for about two years. It was the only brand that was known to contain asbestos in the filters, which is unusual. They inhaled a tremendous amount of asbestos and probably had some health effects from it. One of my favorites was antique asbestos snow. White Christmas tree flocking with crystal asbestos. We gave it a nice Christmas snowy look, but also protected the tree from fire. This is a scent packet. It was designed to go into some old vacuum cleaners. It would act as an air freshener. Unfortunately, holding the scent is vermiculite, which at the time would have been asbestos containing and quite likely putting asbestos into the house for the homeowners to breathe. This got brought to me by a contractor that was decontaminating a house for asbestos. If you look very carefully, you can tell it is a handmade train tunnel. The gentleman's had a hobby in his basement of an HL train scale and made everything from hand. Unfortunately, this stuff he used raw asbestos to make the tunnel out of. So I'm sure every time the train went through the tunnel, it snowed. The reason the, the contractor brought it to me because they were doing a whole house decontamination wipe down of the house because both the husband and wife had died of a lung cancer, presumably from asbestos. <laughs>